So in this video I'm going to do an exhaust change. I'm going to change my stock exhaust on my Triumph Street Triple uh, 675R and I've got a Dominator exhaust which um, I had when I bought the bike and I got the dealers to take it off and put on a stock one so I can get it registered. Uh, so they sent that Dominator one with this bike. I'm going to do like a sound test but also like a DB level test as well. So just to compare the differences and I'm going to do three different tests. One is the stock exhaust, two is with the Dominator exhaust as I got it and third is with the um, DB silencer, <coughs> the baffle which I bought for my Dominator exhaust and so I'll do it. I bought like the 6 to 8 dB uh, and I'm going to do like a test and a sound test with that as well. So three different tests. So I'm going to do a test of idle, um, 2000 RPM, 4000 RPM and maybe something around 5000 RPM. And I've got it sitting about one meter away and we've got about between 70 maybe 73 average idle so next one is 2000 rpm all right that's 2000 rpm sitting about 78 4000 rpm about 83, 5,000 RPM or thereabouts. So I'll also do a bit of a ride test just to see sort of what we're getting during normal riding. Although, I don't know, a lot of this might be wind noise as well. So what we're getting, we're getting like 98, which is quite a bit. I don't know if that's real. Uh, <clears throat> but we'll ride around a bit and then we'll change the exhaust so I had like a really loud exhaust on my um, Daytona before I had like an SC project um, and I thought that was too loud so I'll go back to stock and then and then I just realized like it just made the bike so boring like it was a big mistake going from the SC project even though it was really loud but it was, it was uh, uh, so I do want to go back to you know just a, <clears throat> a better sounding exhaust because it just like the stock exhaust just takes away all the character from the bike all right so I fitted my uh, dominator exhaust uh, this one doesn't have a baffle so we're gonna do like the sound test and then drive around test I like DB level and then you know drive around so this is the second test we're gonna do um, I've ordered the baffle which uh, the third test which is supposed to take 8 DB away but this is the one uh, without the baffle just you know the exhaust as it came so uh, we're gonna do the same thing three tests um, idle 2k 4k sorry four tests 2k 4k and about 5k so that's idle 83 db
So I actually rode this to work today like this and I think it's like unbearably loud like I wouldn't be able to tolerate having my bike always this loud um, just the you know sometimes like the it's kind of like backfiring and then just the thumpingness and just the sheer loudness I wear e-plugs to work and like I, it was still too loud for me it was distracting it was actually distracting. You know, there was um, this guy on YouTube, his name Vosh. Quit being selfish. Nobody likes you. You're like the motorcyclists who take the mufflers off, so everyone within a quarter mile is subjected to deafening noises purely to signal to everyone that you have a tiny penis. Like The main thing he was saying is that um, he doesn't like, you know, this Vosh guy, he hates motorbikes because people take the, the muffler off. And I actually agree with him, like as a rider, you know, I agree. Now I was, once I was just driving in my car and there was, you know, a Harley guy with, you know, a straight pipe. My window was down and, you know, he blew my ear. I've only got one good ear, you know, and that was, that was my good ear. It doesn't need to be that loud. The exhaust that I've got now, um, it's not exactly a straight pipe. There's a bit of a muffler there, maybe, I don't know, 10% muffle. But yeah, I just, I don't really like, it's very distracting, the, the, just the noise. I mean, maybe if you're like a recreational person, you drive like a fair weather rider, you know, you drive like once every few months or something on a public holiday, you can bear it. But for me, like, I'm driving, I'm riding this, like, three to four times a week, one hour commute each way, um, plus, you know, making videos, plus re leisurely rides, um, it's not, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to tolerate this. To give a comparison, like, I thought my SC exhaust on my old Daytona, my previous Daytona, I thought that was loud. This one is actually louder than that. This is the loudest exhaust I've ever had. Um, so, I'd say maybe, you know, my Daytona exhaust was like obnoxiously loud. This one is like super obnoxiously loud. Uh, and the next level up is, um, you know, the Harley guys that run the straight pipe. And the Harley ones are actually louder because, you know, like they're a twin cylinder, like big, big piston, so big, you know, big bang. Um, so not only is it a straight pipe, but just also the big bang as well. Um, it seems here, like on my DB, I know on my DB meter, it's not exactly like, I think I was reading um, 92 at 5,000 RPM, which I know is not true. Like, uh, there's like, I think uh, um, the maximum the EPA allows, uh, the maximum they allow for motorbikes is 94 dB at five, around 5,000 RPM. Um, so according to the measurements I took, this would pass, which it, it doesn't, there's no way. Um, but what I want to do is like, I want to do a comparative measurement, like compare my old exhaust, like the stock one, to this one without the baffle and then with the baffle. Um, just like, I, I know what I like, I don't need to measure it, just to have like an objective measurement to measure against, like to say uh, it's X amount louder or softer. So this is the third final test. I got the DB silencer installed uh, into this Dominator exhaust. It's supposed to take away six to eight dB. And I just wrote it in, just listening to it. I'm really happy with it. Like it hasn't changed. It's still got the same sort of characteristic of the, of the exhaust, but it's just not as loud. So we're gonna find out exactly if it's louder than stock um, or if it's the same.
So that's idle, 2,000, 4,000, 5,000. Alright, so overall, like, the sound has definitely reduced massively. Um, I think it's just from looking at the numbers there, I think it's almost the same as stock. Um, you know, especially when idling, maybe at around 4,000 it was louder. And I was hoping that it wouldn't take away the actual, you know, char characteristic, like the sporty... Uh, the gruntiness, um, but it didn't, it's still, it's still there, but just a lot, you know, it's just not as loud, uh, which is good. What I did notice, though, is that, you know, when you're giving it, it sounds, it still sounds like the stock exhaust, because uh, the stock exhaust sounded quite um, aggressive when, when you gave it, um, and this one kind of sounds the same. Uh, maybe it's just got that overall uh, gruntiness, sportiness across the whole, you know, low revs as well as when you're giving it hard. So the Bible verse for today is from Matthew 6 uh, verse 10. And it says, May your kingdom come and may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Like this is just my feeling. This is not really much to do with the verse, but like the way things are going, God is not happy with the, the way we're going. I think the way the world's going. Jesus isn't happy with the way life's going. You know, people are kind of, I don't know, they're losing their mind, they're going nuts. People seem to be a lot more tense. There's wars everywhere. There's maybe people are stressed because of, you know, interest and financial crisis and inflation. You know, there's crazy things going on. Um, you know, the other day I was just dro dro dropping my uh, my son to school, and you know there was this car that was on fire, like just out there in the middle of the road in peak hour traffic. Just as I was about to drive past it, like there was this massive explosion that sounded. People heard it from like two or three k's away, and I was right next to it. Luckily, like there was no sort of flames that you know burst out from it, but there was some really loud explosion that happened from it. When I was filming this um, at that other place, the first place, you know, there's these other burnt-out cars, um, and I didn't actually show it, but I actually witnessed an accident, a car accident, while I was filming this during the first uh, exhaust sound. Oof. And it seemed dodgy, it seemed very, very dodgy. Like, the guy was just sitting there in the middle of the roundabout, just standing, I'm, I'm sitting there like just watching, right? And then all of a sudden this car just crashes straight in, into its side. And, um, and then as I got there, you know, this other car quickly, swiftly comes and just sort of blocks, um, it kind of like blocked my view. Um, so I don't know if that was like real or if that was maybe a staged insurance job. I don't I don't know. It seemed very weird. But I don't know. It's just I think people need to calm down. Like like this world needs to calm down. You know, um, I don't know if it was because of the chain effect from COVID, the wars. You know, we're at the brink of a world war. Um, you know, you got Russia and Ukraine that's been going on, and then you got Palestine and Israel, and now Iran getting involved in Lebanon. And what, you know, what's happening like in Britain? Um, you know, the riots. Uh, what, what, what happened here in Sydney? The riots. Um, you know, after the bishop was stabbed, and that's actually a bit uh, personal from my side. Um, I actually know, um, you know, that I know the bishop, and I know um, some, some people that were involved in that. But you know, it's just like I don't know. It's, the world needs Jesus. That's what they need. Jesus is the Prince of Peace, right? 
no other religion can give you that peace that when you know Jesus and when you follow, when you follow his commands, when you follow what he wants, a lot of people claiming they know Jesus, but they don't follow his commands, so their life is still hell. You know, it's when you actually follow Jesus, when you follow his commands that you know he lives in you. And that's when you have true peace, and that's what the whole world needs. So anyway, that's all I've got for today. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, hit the like button and leave a comment. Uh, if you like my content in general, please subscribe. Uh, and take it easy and ride safe.